Hi there, I'm Dr. Sarah, staff veterinarian for Life's Abundance. And today, Alma and I are on location at Spring Canyon Dog Park, a beautiful place for canines to play in Fort Collins, Colorado. This place offers something for every dog. There's a lake to swim in, tunnels to explore, and loads of space to run and play. As America's love of dogs continues to grow, so is the popularity of leash-free dog parks like Spring Canyon here. These parks provide open spaces for dogs to run, canine company to socialize with, as well as offering a great venue for pet parents to meet fellow dog lovers. As with any communal space, each of us has a responsibility to help keep these parks safe and fun. In this episode of Pet Talk, we'll review some general guidelines to be mindful of the next time you're enjoying a day in the park with your dog. First, let's talk about which dogs are best suited to dog park activities. Dogs who do well in leash-free environments generally have fairly confident and reasonably social personalities. You should never bring a dog who's in heat. This can lead to unplanned pregnancies, as well as aggressive behavior even among normally well-behaved males. Do not bring a dog with a history of aggression. Doing so puts other dogs and their people in danger. Furthermore, you probably would be financially liable for any injuries or damages caused by your dog. Bear in mind that some parks limit the number of dogs you can bring per visit. Even if there are no posted restrictions, limit yourself to a number that you can comfortably handle. A rule of thumb is no more than three per person. Although you should factor in sizes and temperaments when making the best decision for you and your canine companions. Only licensed, fully immunized, and healthy dogs should enter public dog parks. If your dog doesn't have a current license, you could be looking at a substantial fine. Diseases like kennel cough, distemper, um, and canine flu are all highly contagious, so leave sick dogs at home, at least until they are cleared by your veterinarian. Puppies younger than four months are generally not allowed into dog parks since they haven't received all their shots, and as such, have no protection against these diseases. Dogs aren't the only one that have to follow the rules at the dog park. There are some general guidelines for humans too. While dog parks are great fun for older kids, I often bring my nine-year-old daughter, they are not a good idea for very small children. The reason being is small children tend to run up and hug dogs very tightly and that can cause even the most well-behaved dog to become fearful, which can lead to, you guessed it, aggression. It's also a good idea to leave all your people food at home because even a dropped potato chip can spark a fight. You can bring some training treats for your dog, but only bring a handful and keep them in your pocket. This may sound like a no-brainer, but you must follow the posted park rules, which are typically located near the entrance. These rules not only protect you and your dog, they ensure that park visitors are following city laws too. In a worst case scenario, if the rules are routinely ignored, the park can be shut down which isn't good for anyone. Come on, Oma. At the park entrance, be courteous and allow others to exit before you enter to avoid head-on confrontations between tired exiting dogs and your eager to enter canine. Be sure to arm yourself with the waste bags that are typically located on the way in so you'll be prepared to clean up after your dog. In addition to bagging any surprise packages deposited by your pup, you'll also be responsible for any other messes your dog makes. If she digs holes, fill them up. If she knocks something over, pick it up, and so on. Dogs are like children. They make messes and they become cranky when they are tired. If your dog starts showing signs that she's had enough, it's time to call it a day and head home. Remember a little knowledge, courtesy, and consideration can go a long way in leash-free dog parks. Thank you so much for watching. Alma and I are gonna go play some more. Are you ready? Alma? Check back next month for another episode of Pet Talk with Dr. Sarah. Come on.